Good morning. I'm the Moon Mama. Today is Friday, and Friday is a day governed by Venus. Venus is currently in the very last degrees of Taurus. Venus is the planet that governs restoration, our ability to restore ourselves, to relax, to luxuriate um, in the things that bring us pleasure, that things that tantalize our senses and make us feel good. Venus is all about feeling good. <laughs> Venus governs money. Venus governs love, how we love, who we love, art, music, all the stuff that sort of makes life um, tolerable <laughs> or enjoyable. Not just tolerable, but enjoyable. That's the Virgo in me, kind of the cynic. Um, Venus also governs beauty. People who are, who like, People who are have a Libra moon or Taurus moons, they usually are people who are very pretty. It's it's always I love astrology in that way. Like people who all of my friends who have a Libra moon, like my girlfriend Erin, she has a Libra moon. My girlfriend BT has a Libra moon. My girlfriend Khadija has a Libra moon, and they're all very pretty women. <laughs> such a fascinating thing to see how it works and I just love that that just makes me so excited when I see people I'm like oh I wonder if their moon is in Libra because they're so pretty um so that's the Venus energy and today you know one of the things I'm experiencing right now is a real split like I grew up I was raised for this time. This is like now that I have experienced so much, all the stuff I've experienced in my life, because of what we're going through right now, I get it. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. All the things that I thought mattered, all the things that I struggled with, I struggled with them to help me rely helped me recognize that none of it really mattered except for my relationship to the divine. So all my struggles around money, all my struggles around the need for somebody to love me and want me, and all my struggles around abandonment and self-abandonment, I feel like this time, it has prepared me for this time. Because now I see that oh, the only thing that I need, really need to focus on is my love for God, is my love for God's creations and the universe and nature and, and humans. That includes humans because I fucking love people. <laughs> I love people more than I love anything. Um, I always, when I was little, I used to always say, there's nothing more interesting than a new person. And I had a friend who loved books and she was like, "Not a, a new book is, is, is better. And I'd be like, no, no, no. No, 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 because a person is just like a book. If you can open up a person's psyche and get them to tell who they are and what they think and how they feel, there is nothing like that. There's nothing like people. So the moon is in Leo today, and the moon in Leo is this need for attention. And so the question is, what will you do today in order to get your needs met? What can you do to meet your own needs? What can you do to nurture yourself, to love yourself, to... Um, to, to to cultivate your sensual energy, like making yourself healthy food, you know, maybe massaging your own body. Um, one of the things I've been doing lately is really just cutting my hair down really low and just spending time oiling my scalp. I've, I bought all these beautiful oils like holy basil oil and argan oil and tea tree oil. And I've never been this nurturing and self-caring to my own hair and my own scalp and it just feels so good. I've also been drinking the herbal infused waters and just allowing myself to relax and um, and I've been turning off the media. Like, of course, I just am not spending time listening to media. I have been paying attention to some of the clips between the um, Governor Cuomo in New York and his brother. I just think that shit is hilarious. But for the most part, I have been allowing myself to slow down, slow ourselves down. And I'm not, like I said, not listening to any, any media. And so I encourage you to, to spend time today just being sweet to yourself. And I want you to know that there's more magic 
available on the planet right now. When I say magic, I mean miracles. I mean the universe is listening to you. The electromagnetic field has heightened its frequency and we are in a new energy field. We are in a new place. Like It's like heaven really is at hand. And if it's nothing that Venus loves more, is heaven. And then the moon in Leo, like this is good. This is like, oh my God, like this is amazing. We're living in an amazing experience. So I encourage you to spend some time nurturing, loving, um, being good to yourself. Turn off the media. And if you need support, if you need to do a natal chart reading or a, a full moon reading, um, and if you need a break financially, because I can totally work that out, so you let me know what you need, um, I, I'm available for that. I don't want, like I, the work is not about money. It has to be about freedom. So whatever it is you can do and, and you want me to work with pricing, I will totally do that. Um, but I encourage you to just luxuriate. I know there's a lot going on, but spend five minutes luxuriating. Do something that's so good to yourself. You deserve it. You deserve it. And not only do you, do you, not only do you deserve it, but you need it. And it's going to make such a difference. Lately, I'm starting to experience so many miracles. I've shared some of the miracles before with you guys. I've shared like the the, the butterfly that came back to life in my hand. Um, but, you know, just last night, I was like, okay, I need a day to myself. And my son's father has been going to work because, you know, that's okay. Like, he's safe, and so I know that. But I was like, I need a day um, to myself. I need a day without parenting. And I just said, he's going to work from home. I just said that in my mind. My son's father is going to work from home. And then within a couple of hours, he texted me and said, I'll be working from home today. So that's how keenly alive the energy field is right now. I could send him a signal and he responded in kind. And, you know, that's all I needed. I don't need to know the details of that. I just know that I, I desired something and it happened. It's as simple as that. And so can you. And I just, so tell me, share with me the miracles that you guys are experiencing. Yes! That's what I want. Share with me the miracles you guys are experiencing. And and anything, like a miracle can be that you felt one way and then you had a new thought and then you felt something different. That's really all a miracle is. A miracle is a shift in your the way of being and then how that shows up. So let's share miracles today, Venus miracles. So if you do something sweet for yourself, tell me what it is you did. If you, um, if you wanted something and it came, tell me what it is that you got. If you had a thought and someone else tapped into it, share that with me. Like, like what are the miracles that are happening in your reality? The more we share those things, the more they'll begin to happening, happen. Okay. I am the moon mama. Today is a Venus day. The Venus chant to activate Venus in your consciousness is Om Shukra Namaha. Om Shukra Namaha. Om Shukra Namaha. That's the Sanskrit language for the Venus chant. Um, so I encourage you, you can go on YouTube and look for the Venus chant. Um, and just spend your time in the energy. And the more you listen to things that feel good and do things that feel good, the more magic you're going to have in your life. Okay, peace and blessings, everyone. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.